Welcome to the sixth chapter in the TI Precision Lab series on motor technology. My name is Hector Hernandez and this chapter's objective is to explain two of the advanced diagnostics found in motor drivers, open load detection and offline diagnostics. Open load detection, or OLD for short, is a protection diagnostic which determines a load's connectivity to the FETs driven by a motor driver. These loads include motors, solenoids, relays, LEDs, and resistors. There are two types of OLD, passive OLD and active OLD. In TI motor drivers, there are three variations of active OLD, including plain active OLD, low current active OLD, and negative current active OLD. Passive and active OLD circuit implementations vary between driver types. Both passive and active OLD can accept three load connection types. One of them is a load connection to power. Another connection type is a load connected to ground. Passive OLD functions similarly in both connection types. The difference is the passive OLD detection circuitry that turns on is the one in parallel to the FET through which the diagnostic current will flow. In active OLD, the load current flows through the FET that is turned on instead of the diagnostic current. In both VM and ground connection types, unidirectional motors, solenoids, LEDs, and relay loads are connected between an output, for example, OUT1, and either VM or ground. The third connection type is a load connected in an H-bridge. In this configuration, the load is connected between two outputs, for example, OUT1 and OUT2. This configuration is used for bidirectional control of loads. During the passive OLD, only the diagnostic current flows to the load. During active OLD, the load's current flows from VM to either output, then to the other output, and finally to ground. The passive OLD is carried out when the load's driving FETs are not in operation. This diagram shows that passive OLD circuit for a BDC, short for brush DC, driver with integrated FETs. When all of the driving FETs are in a high Z state, the driver sources the small diagnostic current to the load for a short amount of time to test the load's connection. The diagnostic current must be very small to avoid load rotation. To activate the passive OLD, a command is sent by the user to the motor driver. For each half bridge's driving FET, there is one OLD current source, a switch, and a resistor or diode. These components work together to allow the flow of the diagnostic current from an internal supply called AVDD to the load and from the load to the ground. OLD comparators monitor the voltage on each driving FET's OLD circuit. Active OLD ensures that the load is connected to the driver during operation. While the load is in operation, the current flowing through the driving FETs is monitored to ensure that the load is connected. In some BDC integrated motor drivers, if the current flowing through the load drops below the open load current threshold, called IOL, during continuous or PWM operation, an OLD event is detected. In other BDC and in BLDC, short for brushless DC, integrated motor drivers, the active OLD diagnostic monitors the body diode voltage during current recirculation through the current recirculation FET to detect an OLD event. In stepper motor integrated drivers, if the winding current in any coil drops below the IOL threshold and the current regulation, called ITRIP, level set by the indexer, an OLD event is detected. In low current active OLD, the current OLD threshold, now called IOLD low, is around 10 times less than the IOL. This IOLD low adds flexibility to detect a smaller motor nominal current. An example application where low current OLD prevents a false OLD flag is in HVAC systems where the flaps actuator is driven 
by the motor driver and the current provided by the driver decreases when recirculating air assists in moving the flap. If the current provided by the motor driver decreases below the IOL value, it can cause a false OLD flag. Hence, the 10 times smaller threshold in low current active OLD can prevent the false flag. Negative current during recirculation can flow either through the body diode of a FET or the FET itself, depending on whether or not the channel is configured for asynchronous or synchronous rectification. Negative current active OLD mode prevents false OLD flags that occur when recirculating current flows through the recirculation FET during synchronous rectification. In this example, the high side FET of the OUT1 channel is always switched on and the low side and high side FETs of the OUT2 channel are operating in a complementary manner. This graph shows the waveforms of a false OLD flag when the negative current OLD setting is disabled and active OLD is enabled. Initially, for the first PWM cycle shown, the active OLD is disabled to show the currents in the different FETs during the motor operation. When active OLD is enabled in the second PWM cycle, the device registers a false OLD flag during the OUT2 high side FET conduction since the current through the OUT2 high side FET is less than the IOLD. The end fault pin is pulled low and both high side and low side FETs of OUT2 channels are disabled. The body diode of the high side FET conducts to complete the current recirculation back to the supply. This false detection of OLD is eliminated by enabling the negative current OLD mode for the OUT2 high side FET. This graph shows the negative current OLD threshold IOLD neg instead of the IOLD enabled for the OUT2 high side FET. During the second PWM cycle, the end fault pin remains latched high and OUT2 channel is not disabled when OLD is enabled. Negative current OLD will also work during recirculation through the low side FETs. Passive OLD in gate drivers is called offline open load diagnostic. The diagram here is for the BDC gate driver's offline open load diagnostic circuitry, the external FETs, and the load. A difference between the gate drivers and the integrated drivers is the use of internal blocking diodes as opposed to OLD resistors. Additionally, the gate driver's VDS comparators monitor the voltages to check for open conditions while in integrated drivers, dedicated OLD comparators are utilized. Pull up and pull down current sources are available for each output, just like in integrated drivers. The reference power is the external supply powering the driver, instead of AVDD. Each half bridge can be individually enabled to diagnose the open load condition in half bridge, H bridge, or in zone control configurations where a half bridge is shared with other half bridges. For all of the following examples, the top left and bottom right current sources are enabled. In this no fault example, the load is connected across SHX and SHY and the two mentioned current sources are enabled. The SHX and SHY voltages sit at PVDD divided by two and all of the comparators have a positive difference between each comparator's positive and negative terminals. This setup results in all of the comparators having a high voltage level output. Reflecting the load is connected. In this open load fault example, the load is connected to SHX but disconnected from SHY. The SHX voltage sits at supply value while the SHY voltage sits at ground. Since the top left and bottom right comparators now do not have a positive difference between their terminal voltages, the comparator outputs are low. The top right and bottom left comparators do have a positive difference between their terminal voltages, so the comparator outputs are high. In this case, 
the comparator outputs can be interpreted as a fault. In offline short circuit diagnostic, the driver detects when there is a short instead of a load. In this short circuit to ground fault example, the load is connected to SHX but short circuited from SHY to ground. The SHX and SHY voltages both sit at ground. Since the top left and top right comparators now have a positive difference between their terminal voltages, the comparator outputs are high. Meanwhile, the bottom left and bottom right comparator outputs are low. In this case, the comparator outputs can be interpreted as a short circuit to ground fault. In this short circuit to battery fault example, the load is connected to SHX but short circuited from SHY to battery. The SHX and SHY voltages both sit at PVDD. Since the bottom left and bottom right comparators have a positive difference between their terminal voltages, the comparator outputs are high. Meanwhile, the top left and top right comparator outputs are low. In this case, the comparator output can be interpreted as a short circuit to PVDD fault. To find more motor driver technical resources and search for products, visit the link here for more information.